All right, hello everybody. We are back with another question. And this question is from the IB Chemistry HL paper one from the November 2020 batch. So it's from the most latest paper that is available to us. Of course, excluding the May 2021 exams, which are still going on. So in this question, they're asking us, what, which volume of ethane gas in centimeters cube will produce 40 centimeters cube of carbon dioxide gas when mixed with 140 centimeters cube of oxygen gas? Assuming that the reaction goes to completion. So now when they have said that assuming the reaction goes to completion, this is their way of telling you that all of the C2H6 gas is burnt up, meaning that the oxygen gas will either also be completely consumed or it will be left in excess. So that's just their way to tell you that C2H6 is actually the limiting reagent and oxygen is in abundance or is it in excess. Now, when students see questions like these, and these questions do appear very often, and I've seen them appear in almost every MCQ paper, and I think IB does this because when students see such questions, they immediately start to panic because you think that because since it's a question from topic one and you're required to calculate the moles and the mass and you need to convert from these units to that units and you start to panic because you don't have a calculator. But that's actually not the case. This is a very easy question. You don't need to calculate the moles. You don't need to calculate the mass. You need to do nothing of that sort. And I will show you how to solve this question without all of that. All you have to do is pay attention to the stoichiometric ratios. Now you can see that C2H6 is in the two to four ratio with carbon dioxide, or it is in the one to two ratio. And this basically means that for every one mole of ethane gas or C2H6 burnt, you're going to get two moles of carbon dioxide. So they have told us already in the question that the final product or when the reaction goes to completion, you get 40 centimeters cube of carbon dioxide. So now in order to produce 40 centimeters cube of carbon dioxide, how much ethane gas will you require? Well, you'll require half of how much carbon dioxide or the half of the volume of carbon dioxide produced. So you will require 20 centimeters cube of ethane gas. And why is that? Because of the ratio, it's in the one to two. So for every one mole of C2H6, you will produce two moles of carbon dioxide. For, so for every 20 centimeters cube of ethane gas used, you're going to produce 40 centimeters cube of carbon dioxide. And that is how you can do this question without doing any complicated calculations. And your answer is B, which is also the correct answer. I hope you've understood how I've done this question. And hopefully this will help you in your exams. And if you are to ever encounter such a question in the paper, you will not hesitate or you won't feel scared and you'd be able to do it easily and score good marks. So that's it for today's video. I'll be back in the next video with an other question. Thank you for watching.